This is a painting here of a parking garage. My dad's friend Patrick painted it during something called college. It's very big and I like when I get to sit under it with my family. An important and successful architect draw this one. I do not know what that is. I, it, you know, it might be a picture of me now that I look at it. I think it might be me. I would like to go to this little tiny land. My mom painted this. I love her very much and she loves me too. Sometimes when she paints, she doesn't want me around. I don't think it's mean, but it kind of hurts my feelings. I think it's just because I don't know colors, so I wouldn't be much help. I don't know this mean old man. That's okay, I don't know if I want to. This one makes me laugh, except when I eat. Then he makes me nervous. I don't want him to eat all my foods, but he has some outside on top of his head, so I don't know if he eats what I eat. Every time I look at this piece, I hear crickets chirping in them woods. I don't know how much you know about this stuff, but when somebody dies, somebody you love very much, there's something called a funeral. It's when you say nice things about the person that died and you hug other sad people that are sad about the person that died. This phonograph my dad took is from his grandmama's funeral. I don't know where there was a cake there, but I wish I could have eaten it. I don't really know what it means when somebody dies. I don't really know anything, but when mom and dad talk about death, it sounds a lot like when they go away for a while and they leave me in my room and I don't know when I'll see them again. Being by myself in that room all alone is the saddest thing I can think of, so I'm guessing that's what a death means. My buddy Arash's screen print is wild, man. Sometimes I want to puke when I look at it. You know, a good puke. Like when you spin around too much in the grass and you can't keep your food in your belly because it got too jiggly. I like this one because it has a floofy friend in it. I don't know what my floofy friend's name is, but I bet we'd be friends. This one's from Target. You probably know this, but that's mom and that's dad. All those other people are the bestest people. I hadn't been born yet, but I probably would have been in that picture with them because I'm also part of the club of the bestest people. I don't know what a lot of mom's art means. Just a reminder, I don't know anything. But I know that she made this. And if I get to be closer to my mom, there's something that she made, even when she's not here, that makes me happy. This is my favorite piece. Every night, mom and dad go to sleep. And usually it's no problem. But sometimes it kind of is. When I get waked up and it's just me in this big room by myself, I miss my mom and sometimes I miss my dad. 
when it's just me and my little brain kind of wanders. It doesn't really have very far to go, but it gets to a lot of sad places. This funny little mushy man, he knows I'm sad in the darkness and that I can get hurt. But he's always there giving me just enough light to not be scared of the darkness. Sometimes I don't really feel like I belong here. I don't think I'm made for this place. I kind of think that Mushy Man gets that. We all know he's supposed to be something he's not. He's a fabrication of something that nature already makes. He knows deep inside himself that he is not really a real mushy. All night he smiles at me, letting me know that I'm okay. But I know he's not okay. This is not what he wants. But since we're both here in this room not okay, that makes me feel okay. I hope I make him feel okay. And that's why it's my favorite piece in the whole wide world.